you can use Maker Studio to create an amazing variety of exciting projects, including 2D stuff, pop-ups, 3D constructions, and working machines. To create projects like these, you'll need cut lines, fold lines, and sometimes tabs. Maker Studio's unique Cut Fold Tab tool makes it easy to add these design elements. Here's how. First, let's make a simple 2D cutout. Open a library image. If you want your electronic cutter to cut out the image, you need to define the outline as a cut line. Go to the Cut Fold Tab tool, then select the castle outline and select the Cut button. The outline turns red to indicate a cut line. Select Cut Fold Tab again to turn it off and use other tools. Now, when you send the image to the digital cutter, the whole image will be cut out. Sometimes you don't want to cut the whole image. For example, to create this pop-up, I placed the Going Places Library image on top of a box pop-up and cut only the top of the image. To do this, go to Cut Fold tab and drag markers from the palette to define line segments. You can move markers along the outline to place them precisely. Then select a line segment and use the Cut button to toggle cut on and off. You'll notice that ready-made shapes, objects you create with the Lines tool, and the geometric shapes in the library already have markers when you open them in Cut Fold tab. If you want, you can move markers, add new markers, or drag them off. As before, select a line segment and use the Cut button to toggle cut lines on and off. By the way, if you want to cut out an imported image, be sure to check Process Image when you import it. Then Maker Studio will recognize the image outline and you can use Cut Fold Tab Tool to turn the cut line on and off. The Cut Fold Tab Tool also lets you create fold lines. Here's a simple example. Place a small square inside a large square. Right now, both squares will be cut, so there's a hole in the middle. But maybe you want the center square to open like a flap. Go to Cut Fold Tab, select one side of the inner square, and select the Fold button. Now I have a little door. If I want, I could hide something cool under it. For most 3D constructions, you'll want to add tabs to secure sides when you fold. It's easy with Maker Studio. Go to Cut Fold Tab, select a side, and then select the Tab button. You can check cut and fold lines at any point by selecting X-Ray. Color fill is dimmed, cut lines display in red, and fold lines display in green. See the guide for more information on any of these features. So, that's it! One easy tool lets you quickly add cut lines, fold lines, and tabs. Now that you know how, imagine some cool projects and try it out. Have fun!